Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's show, Anoche Kitchen Discussion. Um, on today's show, we're talking about taking care of our aged parents. As you will say it in Yubu, aged parents. Now, when we talk about aged parents, now we're talking about parents who, again, aging comes with different um, different uh, people see aging differently. I could see my 50-year-old mom as an aged mom, and some other person would think, no, she's still very young and vibrant. And some would think that age, aged parents or aging starts from 70, like something in the Bible to have to do with 70, 77, 80, and all of that. But what we know is that once you have produced an adult, you're aging, you've aged. So aging in this contest is, we're referring to our parents who has really, who are due to retire or who has really done enough to produce adults who are capable of looking after them or giving back whatever they gave them while they were career and while they were bringing them up and in this um, for the purpose of this show the age parents were referring to could be your own direct parent adopted parent parent-in-law anybody you consider parent that is what who are we are referring on this to this show so sit back and enjoy the show with us and, okay for um, mama to on what you say to piggyback before you continue mm -hmm. Ojin, some some uh some of us the parents our parents are sick our parents are um, invalid, really? they are dependent on other people for everything, all their activities of daily living. Some of them can do some and cannot do some. So yeah, depends on you know your situation and stuff like that. So Thank take it away, Virginia. Okay, so based on um, the monologue and the topic of the day, I would like to ask the phrase, a parent can train multiple children but multiple children cannot train, cannot take care of a parent. How do we mitigate that? Hmm. Mama, would you hmm. like to throw light on this? Yes. Before I'll... I ask them then. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, the I, I um... the Okay, the question is, um, a parent can train multiple children, okay. okay? And multiple children cannot support a parent. Okay. So okay. to break it down, a, a parent or parents take their time, whether they have five, six, or even eight children, they take their time from their little or massive resources, take care of these children, train them to become human beings. But by the time they get to 70, maybe just one child out of that eight takes it upon themselves to take care of these parents at most two, that you would hardly have all of them coming together to pull resources to take care of their parents. So okay. how do we mitigate that? Okay. Um, yeah. I think the practical solutions to it, or what I've seen in today's world is where people come together to plan. In an ideal situation, it shouldn't be. There shouldn't be any formality in arranging how to take care of your family or parents. That it shouldn't be, it should be where a parent has been lucky to have more than one child, two, three, or even up to eight. What is expected or what is assumed the position, his position would be, or their position would be is, it will be coming from every angle. It will be coming from any angle without mm -hmm. seizing. But the reverse is the case. And because of the nature or, or what the outcomes in today's world, which is born out of selfishness. Um, selfishness, I'll, look, I'll just call it, and uh, stupidity. Because when, when you think, why would I be doing it alone? It's stupidity. If you can't afford to do it, why not do it? If your mind tells you to do and you recognize that that is what you should do, you don't have to look at the next person. So measures to mitigate it would be practically having that meeting, now it starts in a WhatsApp group and let's share what we're going to give our parents this month. We they need five pounds, we have to split into one pound each, the five of us will contribute and do it. So planning and agreeing on a set plan on how to support your parents, if it's financially or if it's, even if it's doing visits. I've seen families where 
they um they agree take turns they take turns to go and visit their parents these are people that are abroad who traveled home to visit their parents and i've seen families where it is working very well for them the daughters especially would take the parents on break they go and take them spend the month and it's been because it's been agreed that we'll be doing this so that way everybody takes part so that planning and agreeing on something and that brings us to the formality of our office how do we plan to carry out this project so that's being applied now as part of um as a way to mitigate all of this i for okay. one i i tend to kind of disagree with you because you're hmm. looking at a, 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 a just one family situation there are families where you have five six siblings and none of them are doing well most of them don't even have jobs. Most of them can't even afford their rent. Most of them can't even afford to do things for themselves. And then you have families where you have five, six siblings, only two people are capable. And the other two people are, are still um, struggling to help in their siblings and everything. So when you can't help yourself, how can you help somebody else? So yeah, see, I, I think mama was talking. Like, yeah, we can look at it as from a family that everybody's doing well. If, yeah, if, if, that, if, that's if her you're saying it from a family that everybody's doing well, if everybody's doing well and then some people don't want to do, that's where the selfishness comes in. But when mm. you get families, I know families, every single one of them, everybody's struggling. What are the parents doing in that family? The parents are still, I've seen parents, families where the parents are still helping you know so the children. You know, I'm saying situations vary so we can't yeah. just say yeah i get you um, i was yeah, gonna you say have, yes, that you have have you get all well, people, well yeah, situated I was, and I was, don't help. that's where selfishness comes in i was going to say that mama's um take on this issue stems from an ideal situation well, but then, we know well, that yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah but but we know that we can't always have ideal situations. So now we're going to talk about this issue realistically. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, and if we want to be real, okay, before I share my thoughts, I would like Benson to say something. Well, um, to me, there is no uh, fast way around it. Um, I don't call, I don't call nobody to take care of my, my mom. I don't call you nobody. You feel responsible. All, all I know is um, at the beginning of the month or between the the month, if I maybe if I give her if I give her maybe two hundred thousand like last month, maybe we will we'll just be discussing. I'll just stylishly say, "Ah, ma, ego ne ego ne go go for." It can go query. Do you still have money for food? So I want to kiss him. Ah, I can worry. I still have hundred thousand. All I need to do is just to send. Hundred thousand again to make up that her money to two hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Then if my brother, any of my brothers, than have, they can send to her. I'm not calling anybody to say, "Hey, we have to make up this money to send to mom." Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't do it. I can yeah. I can call I can call my uncle's wife in a worry and said, uh, "Auntie, I need you to send one bag of rice, one carton of tomato, this, this, that." to my mom in the village, take it to the village as, as you are going to the village. I'll pay for it. So I don't need to call anybody to do that. They all know that this is our mom. So whatever you have, you bring your own. So I'm not calling you to come and say, do this. And I don't mm. Like they would say in Igbo land, mm. yeah, because yes. I mean Very that well, you're... I know both my parents are late, right? So... But I know when they were alive, what we did was we know everybody's situation at home. So, you know what I mean? They all, it, it didn't make sense expecting from where you can't expect anything. So in my family, what we did when my parents were alive is whenever my mom calls, if my mom calls me, I'll do it. If I can't do it, I say, bros, can you do it? Bros can do it. You know what I mean? That's how we wrote. Whoever had in any situation, mm -hmm. that's what we did. We, we went like, then I have, I know, I have friends. If their mom needs twenty dollar Tylenol, and it's seven of them, they'll divide it into seven. Everybody will get that's, ten, that, that's, that's, yes. that's crazy. I have friends that are like that, and I've, I I have friends too. I have friends. How they do it is okay. You have a job. You don't have a job. You're struggling, whatever. So the, the ones who have a job will pay more. The ones who have a job but are struggling will pay less. <laughs> so just to make sure everybody's accountable. In my own family, when my parents were alive, we didn't do that. Whoever had 
you know, gave. So. Yeah, that's how we carry the whole family, family as well. Carry we carry. That's how we do it. Yeah. For us, we we what we do is like me. I have what I send to my dad every month. Okay, and um, whether IK sends or not, that's none of my business. But the truth is, where I am sending money, nobody visits my parents as much as I can. Stablet. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> nobody visits my parents as, my thing much as, room, yeah. as much as he does. Mm-hmm. If, yeah. if something carries him to worry, he'll find a way and go to a bar. If something carries him to a yeah, he'll find good. a way and go to a bar. So when it comes to visits... That's more important to them than the money. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Go ahead. When it yeah. comes to visits, he takes the lead. And there was never a time we sat down. After all, I live in Abuja with him. We never sat down to say, Ike, you'll be the one visiting them. But he does that. Okay? When Akugo was in Port Harcourt too, she, her own was, she was always sending them food stuff. Then Zizi would do his part. Everybody, you know, tends to just do whatever you can do. We've never had the cause to... <laughs> You know, call a meeting and start con- Even if my dad goes to the hospital, anybody he speaks to first starts by sending money. Yeah. And eventually, that's how we do it. That, that's care of, you understand? Yeah. He's, so, he's, he's, just like, he's just like that. Just like uh, my younger brother called me two or three days ago. He just said, he said, uh, uh, brother, see you, that she wa- he wants to buy um, solar for her mom so that at least she could be charging her phone, she will have light in the house instead of this generator, generator issue every day. I just only asked me, I said, oh, behind the solar, how much is it? I assume the, the solar is one one eighty thousand. He said, okay, if you have if you have money, now go ahead and do it. So when he said it, I've already decided, okay, since he has told me the amount, one day I'll just pay in some money into his account and said, go ahead, do what you said you want to do. So it's nice. Anybody can do anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So coming back to me sharing my thoughts, I see a lot of people have come in, but um, they can always partake in the second question. So I was going to say that um, based on what Mama said, that some people out of selfishness would not do what they are meant to do. The truth is that a lot of people don't know that from taking care of your parents, a lot of blessings come from God. You know, the prayers of your parents are very important. They don't need to lay their hands on your head to pray for you. Sure but the fact that when you take care of them and, oh, this is my child, you know, God would um, bless you and stuff like that. But there are people who have misgivings. There are people who may have been hurt while growing up. There are people who have middle child syndrome, they feel that, oh, because they are not the first child, they are not the last child, they weren't really taken care of. So they haven't even bothered to align with the family even before they started making money. These are issues that are real because they really don't feel the warmth and love of that family. They may be bearing the names when you have um, occasions they show up, but deep down, they don't feel like they're part of you. Okay, mm. but um, I would like no, but I think, to hand over I think, to, yeah, what we've described back. so far, EJ, sorry, what we've described so far, and thankfully it's positive, that's what we would like to have and what we'd like to see, where everybody chips in and carries on what they need to do without looking at the next person. Okay. But in the situation where that is the, that is the case, how can it be mitigated? Because what we've talked about, see, all see, the good I know that your doing. father, I know that your father is a lawyer. Can you remove that mitigate? Okay, what can we do to to stop oh, that from stop happening? Oh, uh, but OJ, first of all, now OJ, speak that mitigate for. But if I am like like Benson said to me, I don't like him to call. This only like how Benson pull. If your mother calls calls you any dremego, if you don't have, you can ask and you have another sibling. Can I you know you don't we don't have to wait can everybody toward twenty dollars towards it for no, you to that, like, that, that's if you, it, that's the truth. Too, like OJ says the prayers, me, I'm not even the prayer that my own <laughs> is not even the prayer part of it because to me what goes around comes around. The way your kids I'm looking towards the future, the way your kids see you take care of somebody else, when something happens to you. I work in a nursing home. Young people come into the nursing home every day. 40s, 30s, 20s. They have people go to give birth. They 
they'll have a stroke and that is it for them so people get sick every day nobody knows when it's going to happen to you so when when other people see you take care of other people and when it happens to you somebody will take care of you whether it's your child or a friend or relative that's but correct so in a caregiver period without mm -hmm. looking if uh, uh oh if for my emblem january you have to do february it to mm -hmm. me i never live my life like that if i can do it i, can do it I have never yeah. if my if okay, my dad yeah, i will have a hand yeah. up yeah I have a hand up yeah, sorry. sbcf very much yeah, SB yeah. sbcf SBS, can you tell us your name so i can change your name so that we can okay my name is oh, Kalia. Oh, Kalia. How are you, baby? Long I'm time very, no see. I know. Welcome back. Sorry, I, I keep missing it, but I looked at the time this time around and I thought, oh gosh, okay, let me just jump in. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for going back. Uh, I hope I spelled your name right. Well, uh, Informa is my um Informa is my great ally. Mm -hmm. uh, I know. I always want to always want to join because I go back to listen to what you guys are doing. You're doing a great job. Thank you. So Thank in you, terms of the discussion, <laughs> it's um, it's uh, it's uh, a bit of both of a positive and a negative one. Mm. Yes. In the sense that, if you have to look at what your parents have done for you, some people won't do things for their parents. That's the second question. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So if well, you have to ahead. look yeah. at what 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 have some people didn't grow up well with their parents. Some people did. Very, very true. Very true. Yeah. Then there are some children that are very selfish, regardless of what you do for them. Mm -hmm. It's not about if you're the first or the second or the third or the fourth or the last. True if woman knows, woman knows what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So there are people that are selfish to the bone. So, so Salum Kalia, let me because you're talking. Um, your your talking point is what I, I'm a, about to ask. So let me just okay. put out the question and you continue. Okay. Okay. So okay. Would, your would your childhood experience affect the standard of care for your aged parents? So continue my, because that's what you're answering yeah, already. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. So much. My my childhood experience with my parents mm. weighed both ways, and. My childhood experience, I would say, if I wasn't brought up the way I was brought up, I don't think I would be who I am today, regardless of right. the all the beatings, all the beatings I got from my father, even till he had his last breath, I looked after him. Mm -hmm. It should not. It's not about, like you said, um, it's not about the blessings that come with it, but it's about conscience. Yeah. What exactly. is our conscience? What is your conscience saying to you? Are you able exactly. to beat your hand on your chest and say tomorrow, okay, okay. it's not really yeah. about what when people do things, people more in our cold, in our in our in the current um uh, in our in the current situation now, people are looking at oh, okay, let me see if who is looking at oh. me, what I'm doing. Absolutely. The reward they would get. It's mm. not about the reward or who is going to be applauding you. It's your responsibility to look after your parents because as a matter of fact, God is looking after you. God is our parent. And mm. we should be able to transform that same love. If you if you love yourself, undying love for yourself, you will look after your parents. Regardless, exactly, of, love regardless of where it's coming from. Mm. So for me, um, it is very important we look after our parents because we also, mm. all, some of us are also parents, and we're looking up to our yes. children to look after us. Exactly. Because nobody knows what will happen. To, nobody knows mm. what will happen tomorrow. Yes. Like you said, you work in the in 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 um in a, a okay. health, yeah, a lot of in young a health people. Yes. you see all sorts. Yes. Um, yes. If my knows, my all of a sudden, my mom became wheelchair bound. With all her gra gra, we never knew she would be wheelchair bound. If she didn't look after her, if we didn't see the way she looked after her mother, or yeah. we wouldn't be saying, okay, today we'll look after her. So we need to, mm -hmm. you know, have that love, have that culture. You must mm -hmm. love yourself to be able to love somebody well, else. Best, you, yeah, can't, yeah. you cannot give what you don't have. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Kalia. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, iPhone, yeah, you know, I wanted to say something. Um, iPhone, can you state your name? Hold on. Um, iPhone, can you state your name and go ahead? Your hand is up. Olivia, Olivia Basoga. 
Olivia Basu. Oh, sis. Oh, uh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Ike, we'll come to you in the next, please. We've interrupted oh, okay. your slides. Sis, uh, Olivia, go ahead. Olivia, go ahead. Okay. Um, perhaps, uh, on perhaps, uh, okay. the kids uh, taking care of their parents, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes. We can, can you hear, hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, yes. On, on the kids taking care of their parents, there are several, like, uh, for me, uh, I was not, uh, I did not grow up with my parents, you know. I was uh, raised by my uh, aunties and cousins, you know. Uh -huh. So, but that's notwithstanding. Uh, ever since I, I, I know that uh, I've been a human being, I know that I have to take care of my parents as well as as well as uh, other other uh, uh, family members. So, mm -hmm. and what I what we do with my brother, we are eight in the family, four boys, four girls, but not everybody is able, you know. So, but yes. what I will reach what? with my brother is that we we'll have certain amount that we we'll give to our parents every month. We we'll tell our mother mm -hmm. to write the list. She writes the list, we we'll buy the major things. Then every week we we'll give them certain amount after buying those major ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then other siblings from time to time, they, they chip in too. You know, we don't really, yes, we we'll look at them to do more, but some of them don't have, you know. But the way Nigeria or Africans uh, take care of parents or age family members are not the way that uh, foreigners take care of their own parents. At all. Yes. At all. So you might have uh, eight children, then you think that all the eight children will take care of you when you're old or when you're aged. No. It might even be just one or two. You know, so we should, this generation should be putting up something for when they are getting old. It might be your kids, it might be family member, it might be friends, but just put up something the way the foreigners do. Put up something. If if, if you have your money with you, you can hire anybody to take care of you till you're late. They can eat your money, but at the same time, if you have family members, they will be able to take care, you know, you use your money to take care of yourself. Then there's another example I want to show. Uh, there's a neighbor, the, the dad died and set up money for for the for the uh, uh, for the mom to be taken care of, not to take her to nursing home. That's but you won't believe it that all the children wants to, well, most of them wants to take her to nursing home. It's only one of the child, which is my neighbor, that has a, he had a medical uh, 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 decision to take care of, you know, he has a, uh, uh, he Insurance? doesn't have a, a Yes, he doesn't have a, or a, um, he's on, only in charge of medical uh, uh, part of the, okay, the power of attorney. Power of attorney. Yeah. Yes, power of attorney. He only has power of attorney for medical, but not for any other thing. So the siblings. So healthcare proxy, proxy for the medical is healthcare proxy. Yes, they, yes, the they want to proxy, take her yeah. to nursing home so that she can die quickly and they share all the money and everything else. So he only has a, a medical power of attorney. You know, so right now he had to move from his own house to the farm where the mother lives to take care of the mother. Why the siblings, some of them live close to the mother. None of them wants to take care of her. Hmm. It's only that one that has power of attorney for medical that had to leave his job with his kid, with his wife and uh, three of his kids. And thank, and thank God he, he was remotely, you know. So we need to put in place who and who can take care of these things in our will or yes. write it down and put it down, let people know. Because if not, your kids, family members, friends can disappoint you at, at the time when you least expect, you know. So mm -hmm. make sure you put, on, put down something of people to take care of you when these things happen, you know. Mm -hmm. And there's also a, a friend of my husband, he's late now. He did not put anybody, uh, uh, he gave my husband power of exactly. attorney for Mexico, but nothing else. So all his money is stuck here in America. Nobody can, his siblings are home suffering. The one that was in London just died last week. So mm. nobody, his money is stuck here. Nobody can touch it. So we raised money. My husband, they sent his money, his body home and he was buried, but his money is stuck here. Everything, you know. So we need to Same. be very careful. Same, Bonali and the government. The and government is a playground. He doesn't, he doesn't have kids. He doesn't have kids. 
No, he got married uh, twice, no kids, no, no, no wife, you know. So, and mm. being stupid, when he did the power of attorney for medical, uh, for my husband, he could have did the other one too. So now his money is there. The siblings can't get the money. Nobody can get it. And he's yeah. gone. Olivia, it's good we're having this conversation. I never knew people give a power of attorney to look after them, after they take care of their medical needs. I didn't know this. Yes, like, no, that's, that's a healthcare proxy. The healthcare proxy takes care of your um. Makes it's a part of insurance. Care. Something to do with insurance. No, 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 no. It's like me. I can write a letter. Say if anything happens for me, I want the former mama to make healthcare decisions. Whether I'll have G two peck feedings like i can tell you i don't want peck feedings i don't want whatever so if it comes down to that only you can make that decision then i can give to my daughter i can say okay my daughter is good with money i'm going to give her um health care um, the power of attorney to take care of my finances my you give me your medication and give a, 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 a no, 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 no. you see people is, some people is some people is one person that doesn't huh? some people is, is one person that, no 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 she and, wants to give me medical so i should take her and a will take her Hold on, hold on. I have a son in the wheelchair, so wheelchair is not a, a bad thing. So, and if you get yourself in a nursing home and you're very sick, you can't make that decision. The, the, the healthcare people will make it for you. Yeah. So it's better what Olivia is saying makes so much sense. Because if you're, they'll do a competency test on you. And if you're, if you're not competent enough to make decisions, they'll make it for you. And if your family comes in fishy that they are talking about more money, they will not give it to your family. So it's better for you to have all these things in place. Talking about this thing, um, Liba, but before you go in, I know you wanted to say something. Okay. This thing Olivia uh, spoke about yesterday. Okay. I work in a nursing home. Two sisters ca came for a care plan meeting. Their mother is 85. She can't feed herself anymore. We're helping to feed her, right? You know what they said? We are giving her mom, uh, their mom, um, shakes for extra calories. They said to stop doing that and stop feeding their mom. Who has the health care problem so in the family? They are. They are. So even if you... If you can still have kids who don't want you to go, you know, to just go. Yeah, it, yes. You know I mean? so, so, I, sorry, my sister. I like, 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 can we stop feeding her mom? I No, she asked, first, first of all, she asked me for the protocol. I said, so far she can swallow. We have to, if she can't feed herself, we give her assist. Assist can be limited, total, you know. I explained everything to her. She said, oh, we don't want her to, so far she can't feed herself physically. We don't want her to be fed. I said, we cannot not feed her. So far she opens your mouth. You know what I mean? So, and she, they are like, take everything off. They want her. So you can give the wrong person the healthcare proxy. They'll just buy you. Mm. Um, Lee Baba, your hands were up. Oh. Yeah, Lee Baba, hello. Yeah. My hands have not been up. I've been standing by to wait for her to quarter finish. Oh, yeah, again, you're going to. Yeah, again, you're going to. That's not it. But they're all going to get the money. No, only M P. Only M P. Motu no, because no, no, the latter one I can't buy. Don't even give you all because you buy me. If I'm, if I'm, I ain't got no money. Man, I didn't meet one say. to travel so far she can't travel by by her no 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 i like a beautiful face you're not going anywhere i can you to add to all this well well that's why that's why that's why sometimes i jokingly tell people i say you see people that during my old age whatever property i have for rentage give me my money every month let me take care of myself i don't need your year I don't need your yearly payment. Every, Every month, month, give me my money. Every month. How will you get an ando? If it's six flats, give me the money every month. And the month you cannot pay, tell me on time. More. Because if you don't pay, you are leaving. Yes, sir. I agree with you. Tell me on time. I will, I I will, not not even so, that I will, so that I will adjust my myself. Yeah, expenses. And, plan, and plan the expenses from the other five. Yeah. I'm planning the expenses right, for you the other you So yeah. Did, 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 mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to follow up with what I just said and that um about contributing when someone has has need. Then when I end the one, I'm I say I got no eba na roja mundi when wa ya lota. Exactly. Hmm? The Ghanaian go. The Ghanaian go. 
now struggle to contribute for someone's health and the person dies. Now you now instead of contribute twenty twenty dollars, you now have to contribute one thousand dollars each to get a funeral exactly. home, get people to bury the person. It doesn't make sense. Oh, you blow the room. Emergency happened. I just do the thing and move on. If your siblings decide to give you, fine. If they don't give you, you move on. After all, I'm back with school fees. I'm going to get check. I pay you one kg. We are not there taking care of you when you were small. They were also taking care of you. Just very few people were privileged not to live with their parents, probably because of marital issues or condition and all whatnot. But that doesn't mean that when it has to do with the person that brought you to life. Even if you're angry about some certain things back in the days, give me to the and make one cup league. I mean, like just just for example, them. yeah, you move on. The example you set is the same example your children will follow. Exactly. Like well, I said it. Yeah, I said it. Mm, the same example you said is the same example your children will follow. Like um, I told my wife that this year I won't get angry about anything. And she thinks I'm joking. <laughs> this is, this is day. She hasn't bashed no, 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 no. The other day, there was something she did. I did not say anything. I just carried my daughter, enter moto, drop her for school, go. Around 10, she called me. Ah, but my father, you never called me today. I said, I did. Okay, I said, I tell you, say, I'm sorry. I said, okay, no problem. And she's asking me, why are you saying no problem? Talk about it now. I said, January, I told you I'm not in the mood to quarrel this year. I want to make money. It's not worth it. At the end of the day, it's not worth it. I have moved on. I've forgotten about what you did or what you said. You're under pressure. I accept. So I'm not going to talk about it. And since last week, you know, my wife is shocked that I didn't say anything about it. All right. You Thank understand? You. Okay. All right. So, so we move on with peace and love, no matter what has happened in the past. But some of our friends still tell you, oh, my father did not do this. My father did not allow me to wear trousers. Ah, he was always insulting me that I was carrying men. I was following men. I was following girls. But, I mean, they didn't have much to do. Like most parents have phones and WhatsApp and emails to check now. They were bored and they were taking us as their play. Okay, most of us, that when, when they take the light, they will tell us to use our kupenko. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, so it was just for the fun of it you know that's how i see it yeah. thank you i always say if you know better you do better that was what they knew you know what i mean like they knew all they knew was shouting and beating and punishing and i, I did it with my kids too you know what i mean so, yeah. Yeah. They're, not, not they're, not, they're, they're not they're not yeah. they're not just beating they're not just beating they are they're trying to train Train, train you. That's what I'm that's saying. What, that you do, you know, what, what they you do. know better. You do, you know what I mean. Now they are saying beating does not really actually, you know what I mean. I don't know, but like I said, we all came out okay. Some people were uh, traumatized by it and everything. Some of us, most of us, were okay with it. So, you know, so more happy and go go. Even just for secondary school, if I can attest to that. Yes, I can. School, I was that. I was beat every single day. Every day, he and he jump and kneel down. He jump and kneel down. Oh, good honey, he jump and kneel down. So, you know, it, it's uh, me. I don't think it traumatized me, but so, for some people, it might. So everybody is different. Um, Salum, call your guy ahead. If I'm um, after that, you take yeah. after Salum, mm -hmm. you take over. So just a quick one. Um, from what the last person that said about that he does, he didn't, he does, he said to his wife, he's not going to quarrel this year. Um, there, and you said she did something and you kept quiet. That's a very dangerous approach to take. That's a bigger quarreling. That is a very dangerous <laughs> approach. Oh, silence. Yes. You, you, you possibly would think you're doing the right thing, but when you don't talk about it, let me tell you, you're building up atomic bomb. You're a human being. One day you are going to explode from all those built up issues and you're saying you don't want to quarrel you want to make money life is not all about money you can have the life and you don't have the happiness but he said yes. he has forgiven no, that's not, forgiven no, no 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 let me tell you you do not forgive what you do not address it's a no it's it, that it, it, 
if you're if we are truly Christians, uh, which I want us to, which I want to believe, I'm not coming from a Christian point of view. And okay. you say you say you are truly Christian, and you're telling somebody you have forgiven. You forgive what you forg you have to discuss it. You have to say, okay, ne, ne kui fi melu ma like ho. Then that way the woman knows, but you can't be keeping somebody in suspense. And you tell if I'm the one, you tell me you're forgiving me, you forgive. I'll be afraid of you because that kind of person can wake up one day and stab you to death out of anger. I can categorically tell you, I know somebody, very close relative of mine, that it has happened to. So you don't say you're keeping quiet. You're keeping quiet, you're building up things. One day you're going to explode. You're a human being. It wouldn't mesh him. You want to make him Okay, can I say that? No, 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 no. Leave her, hold on, leave her, hold on. I can reply, then Benson can go. Okay, um, so let me call there. Sir? You're, you're misunderstanding the point. Someone that does not give you stress. You don't have misunderstanding with her. You play with her from morning till the next morning and she understands you very well and she's having a downtime what do you do you get angry you carry it that long you get keep it on your mind you can't do that now if the person does not stress you on a normal day and probably she's having a meltdown what do you do you so still carry discuss it, on it. My you still discuss so, it you see, still let me tell you it. yeah no see what she's having a meltdown for, for me, is not something she needs to bother. Which I had already addressed, but she didn't know. So when she found out, that was when she called. You understand where the problem is coming from? Not that me and her have a physical fight. I know I no. No, no, I can, I can call uh, you. We'll need to revisit this topic where we'll deal with another episode of forg unforgiveness. Yes, so that's I'm why I'm a guy. Call you. Mona Giga was guest speakers that day. I'm going to go to another guy. Okay. A better one, if I'm before you go, better one, so. Then, Ben, go ahead. Uh, well, I uh, uh, just go ahead. I think part okay. of what I want to say, I have said it already. Yeah, and before I even respond, I wanted to explain this particular Ike and the, the, those couple, the different people. So that whatever you described earlier, I would not even come to that play when it comes to this love beds. Anyway, and Ike, we understand what we, what you were trying to say. Just jump and pass, and let's let her leave. Let leave, Abby. That's the grammar. Not yes, I have you with Hinobi. Leave and let oh. leave. So the, the last question on for on today's show is what would be a reasonable contact or communication with your age parents to foster a healthy relationship? Uh reasonableness obviously will be it will vary. But let's hear from Ben Ben. Can we hear from you? What I don't even know. I don't even understand your question. That's why I said. Hmm. No, you're holding your head. Okay, let me break it down. That was why I said. Hmm. I, I, what was I, your can, I can answer what level first so that people will understand. I can answer first. Okay. As you get older, you become you get lonelier. You raise kids, they uh, they grow up, they move along, they have their own family, they mind their business. Um, your friends die, your parents die. You know, so the the older you get, the lonelier you get. So, what we for us kids for those of for those of you that have parents your parents need you to call be there for them even if they have money of their own to take of them at least calling them all the time you know you know as a, that's the best thing 
you know, if they are not financially up to date, you know, financially, but we just send money because please be that you're breaking on me. I can't see yeah. I think you're breaking, yeah. Okay. Ben, do you get it? He's, she's what breaking is from her. Mm. She's breaking. If I don't hear from... We can't hear. What? What? Okay. Stop. Stop. We can't hear you. I just sent her. Okay, just sent her a message. Yes, message. Go ahead. Sorry. Remember, uh, keeps breaking. Okay. Okay, like okay, it, okay, uh, like she said. I think the basic thing is that, like for me, I can just stay, I can just wake up. I can just wake up now. What I would do is I'll just call my mom on the phone and say, "Hey, mama, how you doing now?" She'll just tell me fine. She the next question she will ask me how are the how are these how are the kids after that fine. I'll say, "Ask him no, come well, come model team." Mm -hmm. She'll say she's okay. Then sometimes what she should do is like I sometimes I'll tell her say okay. If you don't have uh, airtime on your phone and you can flash me, you want us to talk, just flash me. I will I will call you. Hmm. Immediately I see her flash, even if I'm sleeping. I have I have a uh, ringtone ringtone for my mother and I have ringtone for my kids. Even if I'm sleeping, when once I hear those ringtones, I know who is calling. I'll wake up and pick the call. That's nicely. That's lovely then. I'll wake up and pick the call. Hmm. But you might call me when I'm sleeping. I might not even wake up to, I might not even punt to pick the call, but I know those ringtones, those two assigned ringtones, I know them. Well done. So once they call, I will pick up, talk with them. Like I said, this morning, I've spoken to my mom. So assuming, so, uh, ben ben, assuming you lived in, um, same, in the same country as your mother, how often do you think you would visit her? You're in different locations. Uh, if 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 and I you stay think it's same, not too much or too little. If if I stay if I stay in the same country with my mom, my mom should be staying in my house. Wow, that's nice. Well done. She should be staying. She should be staying in my house. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there are people who would say no. I can, I can, I can, my papa, hey, my brother, you will not understand. So that's why one I'm you... one I get him bum next week. Okay. All right. Um yes. I have this uh, I share the same view. I know it could be very daunting living with your parents. Yeah. Because parents can be some of them are a handful managing them. Are we, are you not handful? No, 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 why are you not worse? Well, you know, that's what I'm saying now. They got rid of no, me when, no, no, when it, I was it, it's better to control, ignore, and know that it's their time. Mm -hmm. Just try to manage whatever. Like in the past few years, if I do not quarrel with my father, he will not be happy. Even no matter how hard I try to avoid it, my father will cause one problem that me and him will That's quarrel. That's me and my mom. If we don't quarrel, there will be, and this type of quarrel, he will report everybody to me. But if we don't have that quarrel, like since this year I've been avoiding, we don't quarrel for ending of January. So I'm waiting for the one for this match now to come because I don't they see I'm the boy. So if this man does not quarrel with me, he does not have peace. Uh -huh. If the next me now, I might just uh, like okay, normally now uh, he will send me messages around 4 a.m. I'll send him a message. How are you, sir? He said, How are you, son? Then I'll call him. We ask him, why was the last time I called? I said, But I called you yesterday. He said, eh. Okay, the internet has finished now. Did you repeat? I said, I've done it already. So, okay. But I called IK, you the other day to do, eh? IK, IK, what he's doing is very simple. He's only uh, telling you that he's still your father. Nah, eh. I want to make him a better. Korean. 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 That's the problem. Hey, That's what I'm saying. We need to be wife. patient with You're them. You're telling us from experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish they will call you now. You're hey. you. Hey. No, no. I know. Okay, if no, it's true. Voice mail are happening in the past. Can you need it? Just yen jege. Okay, yelu. We are sister. Pogo. We are pogo. Apogo. Zangwokem. 
yeah one thing one thing i uh want to share that i do with my father my mother and some other elderly people that i consider parents as well i send the people on whatsapp i send them good morning every day i might skip a day or two but let me let's say in a in a week of five days i'll do it five times or i'll do it sorry Four or minimum three out of five. And what can you better from text message? Are you because... old? Are you my age, brother? Uh -oh. <laughs> to 70, I'll, start, I'll add you to that list. I do it, and most times I get a response. Especially well, for my dad, I'll get a response. If I don't get a response the first day, the second day, I'll check. You see, he will now forward something. He, he's very good with forwarding forwarded messages on, on YouTube, on WhatsApp. And why I do that is, I, I am one of the human beings who understand the importance of communication, especially with our parents. I It gives me joy. It could be stressful, but it gives me joy. I love it. I love it. I speak to my mommy almost every day. 30 day month. If I haven't spoken to her, I've spoken to her 27 times in a month. So, like Kolya said, I've not had that, that they haven't, haven't lost them yet, but I know that there will be a time you will not hear from them. And it's not as if it's always cozy. Sometimes I call my mom, we'll start with argument. But I'll still control myself. I won't put the phone down. I'll, we'll finish. No problem. It's mommy. She'll start and then, then in my head, I'll tell myself how I wish I did not make this call. But it will <laughs> not stop me from making the call the next day. Yeah. If we can, yes. It's it's nice. Even if you don't call every, if you can send a message and they can respond. Even if you can call my grandmother who died at night eight two years or three years ago, she was somebody else. I called every week. I miss not calling her. What I did when she died, I told them that I want her SIM card, so I have a SIM card with me here. I keep adding money to it. I I, I saved it as my inheritance. I love that <laughs> SIM card. That's my mom's number. So. I, I, it's priceless. No much is too much. That's all I could say. And just yes. referring back to the second question, if your life childhood experience will affect the kind of love, I agree with IK. No, what's the point? You drop it and move on. If, even if we want to relate it to relationships that, in quotes, we hold their husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, they annoy you and you forgive them. So why would you not drop whatever you saw? or your experience from your parents growing up and when they need you and you cannot do it. And again, the most important part of this all is look, taking care of our age parents must not be parents who are in need or financial need or whatever need. It's just get being in contact, even if they're millionaires, even if they're millionaires, we should still look after them. We should still keep in touch, we should still communicate with them, we should still find out how they are doing. It, it, it counts so much in their life again it makes them live longer it makes them live longer so it, it's not something that we should take for grant, granted to be honest um we've got a few other people who would you want to if you want to raise your hand if you want to add something or meet up and add something before we round up she just joined in she hello with those i think you have something to say I didn't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> the topic of today is taking care of our age parents, and we've um, touched on three questions. Uh, I don't know where you, where you stopped. Or oh, you just you're just joining. I'm you weren't listening. Just joined in. I've just joined in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So well, okay. The last question was what was what would be a reasonable contact or communication with your age parents to foster a healthy relationship? What would be minimum contact? Reasonable. Constant of communication, yeah. What are you talking like uh, by phone, voice? It could voice, be phone, it could be visit, it could be anything. Yeah, I think I think um, if if your parents are uh, taught how to use um, was it so um, you know, uh, technology, then you can do the uh, video calling. 
in the absence okay. of yeah. actually visiting. Because sometimes, you, if you, it depends on where your parents are being cared for, but irrespective, in a home or abroad or whatever, if you can video call them, it does take, it, it just fill in that place of actually making those Visited. personal visits. And yeah. you can stay up to date on each other. So, yeah, yeah. that's my view. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a fair point, yeah. Adding it, doing that video call, most times when you video call people regularly, you feel right. as if you've seen them every day. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Kalia, you have your hand up. Thanks. Jill. Yes. Um. With regards to what we need to do, um, I, uh, from my own experience, yes, phone calls are good. Uh, video callings are good, uh, especially because of uh distant um barrier in distance. Um, but we should also make out time to visit. Mm. There's, there are some people that have been in the abroad <laughs> years. They haven't seen their parents. If you ask them, they say, I want to a video call. It is mm. not the same. It is never the same. Because there are things they might be going through that when you're talking to them on the phone, the facade of the phone would not give you a clarity of what mm. is happening. Yeah, but if you make out time to visit them, you're, if you're in the abroad, even if it's once a year, at least make out time to visit them. It's yeah. not when they die, then you will not visit them. Yeah, yeah. at I've least got, let's make. Yeah, what you've just let, said. Let's, had, yeah, yeah. Kolya, I had a friend who lost her mom. They spoke on the phone all the well, time. If we somebody said video. you have to consider the the econ economics. So uh, yes, I'm putting into. So, yeah, I'm putting into consideration the financial aspect of it. And that's why I have said, even if it's once a year, okay, now you're talking about financial aspects. You don't visit them. But if they die, you will go for the funeral. You will rebuild your house. You will wear it. You will cook food. You will in invite guests. Come on, please. Cut me the tea from a beacon. This is the one no 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 my dad in fact I thought today when I was speaking to my mom uh I think I, I was doing my back garden the see I wouldn't know we didn't see it in or sigi or sigi or sigi who 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 goes who is there or some see that one of the man called Yana Deba Kanyan Yana Corn, not a Palian Manahana Corn. So you see that this thing, you have to, you just have to make sure that if regardless of phone call, yes, phone with the Abama, but again, sometimes network will not permit you. Like the time last two weeks ago, that the whole of Nigerian network was down and you couldn't get through to anybody. If there was something happening to them, and again, also, I think it's very important that we have somebody somebody dedicated that can give us updates on them. Absolutely. Mm. Especially if they are back home, that can, you know, that you can, that person can say to you, this is what is happening, this is what is happening, this is what is happening. Then when you, you plan it, to visit is not just you have to plan it. You have to sort yourself so, out. Kalia, let me let me yeah. correct the notion. You keep saying if we are back home, this situation it's very it's very common as well with people who live in the same be, country with their parents. Yes, 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 they don't visit. So you respect of where you they are, will, they will tell you they are busy. Mm, they are busy. Are busy Anna yeah. Twego. Anna Twego. <laughs> One them to one ega to find them more. So in, in, in there, just um, rounding up, rounding up actually. So this lady spoke to her mom a few days before her mom died. Apparently the mom was very ill, but she did not want to panic the children. So she didn't say so much. She could hear noise in the background. Mommy, there are so many people in the background. Oh, it's just this person that visited. Whereas the woman was very, very poorly. It was when it was just bad and she's been rushed to the hospital that she was told. And when she was crying, she said, I spoke to her on this day, but my mommy did not want me to know how bad it was. So yes, video call will expose things, visit will do the best from time to time and um, the likes of it. 
Um, she, there, there's something you said depending on the relationship. There was a question about would your experience, a childhood experience, determine determine would um, your childhood experience affect the standard of care for your age parents? We did have that discussion before you joined in. Um, from your communication, yeah, and the I mean, I said the general view. Most of us agreed that whatever you've gone through, it may be done in good faith as a way of um training. In that way, drop it and then uh, move on for the sake of forgiveness and for us to be all godly. Um, I wear forgiveness like a crown. Yeah. So anyway, I think we've had an interesting conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but like, you know, I wanted to reply you when you were talking about oh, forgiveness. Oh, I wanted Chris to, wants to say uh, something. Chris, do you I want to say to... something? Yeah, I just wanted to say hi to everyone and happy. So I joined late, so I, I was, was being discussed. So I didn't I didn't want to budge in, but it was an interesting discussion. Thank you very much, Chris. Yeah, Thank the you. only thing I just have to add is it's a no brainer. We don't unless your parent, you know, molested you. I don't see any reason why we should be talking about, you know, not forgiving or forgiving, you know, mm. unless there's a sexual molestation or abuse or something like that. But if it's they were beating us, uh, I think I would do that any day uh, because it helps it, you know, mm. you know uh, I know some of them can, you know, go. Uh, overboard in doing that, but it's just what it is. Uh, so all in all, uh, we shouldn't even be, you know, he, he, as Christians, we shouldn't even be talking about payback, talk less of our parents. Yeah. You know, so that's my take, but it was an interesting discussion. And Thank you very much. Then I can relate to what I, you know, tried to say earlier. Maybe he didn't, you know, put it uh, well, for you know, there's a, a stage in life that you get most of the things that used to be an issue to you doesn't really matter. You know, you choose your fight, you choose to have your mental sanity, mm. and, and that will help you. So, when you don't address some silence, somebody will do things to you. Say, Oh, don't worry about that. You know, if that person apologizes, you don't have to discuss everything. You know, trying to dissect it and you know come to a conclusion. It doesn't get to that uh, level of oh, you are stomaching things. No, you chose not to. You know, fight that uh, battle. You no, know, yes, uh, it doesn't mean you are bearing grudges. And, and he, he didn't say that he was bearing grudges. Just that he chose not to. You know, at a certain point, I I chose that. You know, if you do things, I'll try to you know sit back and think about it and. You know, give you benefit of the doubt. Who knows? You know, this person might be operating under uh, something that you don't know. Hmm. You always give. It helps you to process and understand, and then even forgive and appreciate. And it helps, like I said, your mental sanity. And I believe it comes with age and uh, you know a realization that what the heck, what matters in life. Uh, so most of the things that we stress about. Uh, just like what happened in Baltimore a few days ago. Some people were, during the day, they were alive, planning on what to do. So they went to work in the night, and that was it. Uh, maybe they left uh, a sandwich or, or a pizza that they will finish when they come back in the morning. Or maybe they were planning on what they're going to do this Easter, but it just ended like that. So why do we have to uh, worry? So when you come at peace with that, it's always a good thing. Okay. Yeah. So thank you all and happy Easter to everyone. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you. Happy Good Happy Donim. Happy Donim. Donim. <laughs> Donim, when you were save, saving people's ringtone, I didn't hear a special ringtone for him. So <laughs> Onyem, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you have seen your position in his life. <laughs> Onyem, I have a special ringtone for her, so you don't. So that makes a difference. There's no special ringtone for Oje. Oje wasn't mentioned in those ringtones. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, 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 no. Did you have anything to say for round up? Thank you, Chris. What?
Chris, 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 so thank you so much. Thank you everyone for being a part of today's show. I enjoy the show. It's a very it's a topic very dear to my heart. Um, we can do so many things. I hope people have picked one or two things from this discussion on how to manage or take care of their aged parents. Um, things that weren't mentioned, please, if you know it, you can put it in the comment section on our Facebook page, YouTube. We'll go there to read, people go there to read up. And again, any good practice is what sharing. You could just do a TikTok video, share it. And either way, whenever you see share it amongst people, nobody knows it all. Some people think that, yes, what they're doing is the best way. Some people think they're getting it wrong. But on, not until we talk about it and share experiences with other people, you would not know what you could learn or what you could pick up. Please, if uh, there are people who are bearing grudges who think their parents didn't treat them right, and I'm going to Give it back to them tit for tat. That is no longer the rule we follow. Let's uh, uh, leave. Uh, uh, Mo, uh, if we, mm -hmm. uh, people are uh, like, I just have one thing to say. Go ahead. People, people that think that they can bear grudges with their parents. I don't think they are Christians. Because the, the Bible says, honor thy father and thy mother for thy days to be long. They're not even Muslims. Muslims said the same thing too. Good. For those, for for it's only the commandment that has a promise, you know, in our cook. They're not even traditionalist because I mean, Allah says that you have to respect your parents. Good. So, so I don't should, know where they're, where they're operating from. Where they're operating from. For me, growing up as a child, I had a very wonderful experience growing up as a child. As a as a child, as a child, I wear Italian shoes as a child. So why should I? Can that, see no why you love your mom's to be. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Mr. Benson, right? Mm -hmm. I think she, I think she's giving her opening address. If you have anything you miss, you can put it in the so that we don't have to discussion again. Or, or are you open to for that discussion? No, I'm not. Let, let, let me let's go offline. Like, that people stays back. Can, can. So thank you, and please join us next week for another interesting topic. And um, let's love our parents. So that our children will love us and the generation, the whole it's a cycle. So let's love each other. Happy start to everybody from Oche Kitchen Discussions. And we'll see you next week. If not next week, we'll see you some other time soon. Love Bye. you. Happy.